What is going on guys? This is Mystic Spade with TGN FPS and right now I'm bringing you guys one of the first few free-for-all matches that I played tonight. Uh, it is on the map called Bootleg because it's a bunch of bootleggers living in this little China town. Anyways, a uh, little bit about the game. What I'm using, I'm using the weapon proficiency to attachments with the holographic sight and silencer perks would be sleight of hand assassin I don't care I like assassin and then stalker so I can move faster while aiming uh, and then equipment is two concussions or stuns and then a simtex I'm rocking the assault strike package which I have set up what do I have set up I have <clears throat> I have the UAV I have what's the other one predator and then I have the the Reaper drone, but I never get to the Reaper. Uh, this is not one of my better free-for-alls as you'll see me do, but I just wanted to put something up for TGN FPS. That way you guys would have something to see from me. I've already put up the first ever recorded quad predator. Uh, I put it up probably, man, about 1.30. 1.30 this morning is when it went up. So to my knowledge, this is the first quad predator in a TDM game on YouTube, period, for Modern Warfare 3. So... We'll see how that goes. I've watched a couple other gameplays, and there's been like doubles and triples, but no quad. So I'm, I think I have that that honor is mine. Uh, otherwise, <clears throat> as most of you do know, I was planning on doing some live comms with some other TGN directors tonight over this game. But for some reason, I couldn't, most of the night, I couldn't actually get a full party into the game. You know, every time I would have a full party and I would try to go into the game, it would say, uh, game lobby closed and it was just kick me out and then I'd randomly get this message saying out of memory I'm not sure what the hell that was so and when I checked it out or when I googled it now I just said it was a issue that I, that happened to some players during the Modern Warfare 2 phase but it was something that the Infinity Ward slash Sledgehammer would actually have to patch if it became an ongoing issue uh, otherwise uh, most of the elite features are down right now I'm guessing because of the server overload I tried to go in there and just toy around with it and most of those features are actually down right now. And as you can see, that this that staircase right there is probably the main focal point of this map in a free for all game. Uh, I, as most of you know in free for all matches there is a central area where everybody likes to go to to try to I guess to try to sucker someone in, <laughs> you know. And this staircase right here seems to be that area for this map as I, I realized during this. There are some stragglers that hang around on the outside of the map to try to get people as they walk by. You know, typical thing. Uh, haven't came across too many campers. You know, I mean, I have. I definitely have, but I mean too many. Haven't came across too many. Uh, otherwise, I've toyed around with all of the, the strike packages available to me. I've messed around with Assault. And as, as lame as it might say, I'm not a kill whore guy. Like, I'm definitely the team player. And the support strike package really is pretty damn amazing. Like, it is, it's pretty sweet, you know, like, I'm not saying I die a lot or anything like that, but the fact that you, like, you know, if you set it up right, you know, and you have two or three people on a six-man team running support, and then somebody else, you know, running assault, you know, that's, that's just where dreams are made of right there, you know, you could have, like, I myself, I was running UAV, uh, advanced UAV, and then... What was it? The escorted airdrop. You know, I was running that, and I mean, it's pretty, pretty sweet. You know, I mean, I got some pretty good jobs over there. And then, you know, on Colin or Jeebus Platinum, another guy I was playing with. You know, he was. I think he was just running the basics. You know, the the UAV, the Sam turret, and then the advanced UAV. And then he actually, he actually got an AC-130 in a couple of games. But other than that, you know, I'll, I'll go ahead and give you guys my my honest impression of this game because I know you guys really care how much I think and that note the sarcasm in my voice I know so many people have that was fail I didn't see that guy right there but uh you know as it comes down I'm not most people don't really look to me as tour in terms of what I think of Call of Duty but you know I'll, I'll give it to you point blank guys like this game it's fun don't get me wrong but it's it's one of those things that playing it and you know I'm glad I didn't get myself super hyped for it it's something new to play. 
Uh, it was way overhyped. It was definitely way overhyped. Uh, haven't ran, a, ran into too many snipers yet. But it's just one of those things. We're going to have to see how it goes in the first couple of months. But as it is right now, it's it's a good game. I, I mean, I'll give it that. It's definitely a good game. I haven't played much of the team-based objective mode yet. You know, with many of my friends because I was having trouble getting into parties. But it's just one of those things. You're going to have to take the train wheels off, you know, after a month or two and, and just let it go and see what happens. And definitely, it's, I am liking it. But it's something that I that I feel might get old. It's you know it's not something that I'm gonna expect to keep my attention for a full year. Like you know I still play Modern or you know up until like a month ago played Modern Warfare 2 every day since its release you know two years ago. So I'm not expecting this game to have that kind that type of longevity for me. You know that's just one of those things. Like and as it is I'm really glad that I'm not a paying subscriber to the Elite service because. After playing the multiplayer and everything, I don't think I'd get anything out of it. You know, I wouldn't play it enough to actually warrant all the, the spiffy stuff that you're going to get with it. And as you see right here, I actually jacked that guy's care package, which was an Osprey Gunner. Which is, uh, for those of you that don't know, it's an escorted airdrop, except instead of, you know, just coming in and dropping the care package, you actually control the gunner inside it while it's dropping them. And I didn't, wasn't aware that it was going to drop shit, too, so I dropped it really fucking far away from me. <laughs> you know, because I was trying to, I thought I was going to, you know, hover the area and shoot stuff. Not me control it. But definitely, I got a couple of nice clips on my channel already. It's a uh, V Mystic Spade 18. I got a real, uh, semi slick throwing knife. It's not across the map or anything like that. And I'm fixing to speed up this chopper. There we go. There it goes. Super fast mode. But, uh,. I got a, the quad predator, like I told you guys, and then a little throw and knife that I'm about to upload. I also have another free for all match I um, need to work on and upload. It's like a 30 and 15, but it's where I actually use the escort airdrop and get, and get some pretty amusing kills out of it. But <coughs> definitely, guys, uh, let me know what you want to see from me if you guys have anything that you want to see. I uh, Tomorrow, I am going to be getting down on some. This will be dual live calm survival. With my with my doubles partner Dreary, and we're gonna be getting down on some stuff with that. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, I didn't do too great at the the event, you know, tonight. I wanted to videotape it, but they told me I that they told me I could, but it really wasn't enough people there for me to warrant videotaping it. But as it is, you know, I had a I made it to like round 13 uh, solo on survival by myself. So I mean, I think that's okay. You know, and I had it was it was pretty awesome. People were looking at me like I was stupid because I was bunny hopping around and you know running off the little train cars on the map and spinning, you know. And it's, I got like an eight man predator because it was fucking funny. But anyways, guys, look forward to some more stuff from me in the future. Thank you guys at TGN for watching this. Later.